Welcome back to Don's Life, welcome to the channel. Thanks for joining today. We are up to no good here in the garage doing some more mods to the AT4. Let's get into it. So let me explain exactly what we're doing today. So you can see, you have a keen eye that is, that we have some things taken apart. Well, we pulled the headliner down. The headliner is down because I wanted to take the rear valence off. The rear valence is off because I wanted access to a little bit of the paintwork here because that's right, we're going to do a partial wrap to the AT4 on this portion here. So the wrap we're going to use is going to be this camo print, large camo print by Vivid, which I have on the hood already and I already have on the roof and I have on the valence and I have on the multi-pro tailgate. But from the side, there wasn't really any vinyl showing. So we're taking care of that today. So let me show you some things to look out for and how I chose where it was going to start and where it was going to end. So let's start with the front here. There is a crease where the panels meet right here, which is going to be a natural line, which I'm going to follow. So I'm using this tape as my guide right up to where this window molding starts. Now, some vehicles that have a partial wrap like this, you could do a line straight across over here to the hood, but because the hood isn't wrapped in this area, this is white, the fender is white here. I think it just makes more sense to use this gap, which would be prominent anyway, and use that natural line to have the wrap fill up from there. Go all the way around the top here, and it'll match where the roof wrap already exists and it'll come down here all the way to this line. Now one might think, we'll just follow a straight line from here, which on some vehicles like my wife's Escalade, or 2016 when she had it, that's what we did. We followed the line here when we tried to do that partial wrap. But in this case, if you come to the back, you'll see we have the window glass here and it's black. And it looks better, I think, if this line continues straight with the vinyl wrap here. So it's a nice black continuous line. Remember, this can be black up here. It's all gonna be black camo. So I want all of that to come across here straight. I think it might look funny if we're down here and then we jut up to the window. So we're gonna follow this line. I've seen some vehicles done both ways. This is the way we're gonna do it. And let me do these crazy things so you can live vicariously through me and you don't necessarily have to try them out. Let me show you a couple areas that could be tricky, so I'll address them right now. As you're watching me do the wrap, or at least certain aspects of it, you may wonder what I had done there. So if you look where the vinyl is going to meet up against the window, there's just a rubber weather stripping, and it gets a little smaller and tougher to get in behind all the way along the top here. When we open the door, you can see that there's weather stripping on the inside. And I can fold this back quite a ways, so we just need the vinyl to tuck in there about the same as this aluminum is folded around the door. This isn't a steel door, it's aluminum. So we're going to make sure our vinyl wraps around there and we can just tuck it behind the weather stripping, post heat it and it should be fine. Some very good news, because all of these doors have built in weather stripping on them, when I close the door, you don't see a gap showing the original paint color there because this weather stripping from the back door is covering it. So we don't have to do any wrapping behind here on this pillar. So we don't have to touch any of this, but for this top piece of bodywork, we do have to have the wrap come down. I'm gonna go about three eighths, half an inch, have it curl all the way around, even though I don't necessarily have to, because there's weather stripping on the top of this door as well. But I feel for the film to last and not to pull back, I want it to come in underneath there a little bit. But it's very good news, we don't have to worry about the pillar there. When we come around the back here, we'll still wanna make sure that we're keeping probably at three eighths or half an inch, and then we'll make a nice line here. I'm going to cut it freehand along the edge of this tape. I could use some cutting line, but I wanna show that if you don't have knifeless tape or cutting line, you can actually just use your knife and glide it against the film, just scoring it enough that it'll actually tear in that section. Now we could take all of the interior pieces off here, get the weather stripping right off, and then be able to get to this a little easier. I don't think it's necessary. Wraps are temporary. This isn't a five year wrap for me. This is maybe I'll like it and want to keep it for a year or two, or maybe just the season. 
and then I'll do something different. If you've been watching this channel long enough, you know that I change wraps. Not as frequently as I change underwear, that's daily, but I change them a lot. So when I put the balance back on, there's going to be some white paint showing here. So I'm gonna to have to put a nice little black strip all the way along. I've already got a head start. I've already put a black strip of vinyl in behind the window here. So you can see, I actually have vinyl right up to this edge. So when I wrap the vinyl around here, it's gonna overlay on top of that inlay. And then I won't have to worry about having any white paint showing. It's gonna be nice, black and consistent. I think it's gonna turn out really great. Might be tough to see on camera, but I've already put an inlay inside this pillar here that kind of tucks under the windshield. So from the front of the vehicle, you're not gonna see a white strip running up along here. And then when we put the vinyl on this pillar, I'll have it wrap over probably about a quarter inch, maybe a little more over top of that inlay. So it'll look good. But Don, how much material do we need to do this job? Well, I'm glad you asked because I have the answer for you. It measures out at 28 inches on that side by eight feet and 28 inches on this side by eight feet. The rolls come in 60 inch widths. So 28 and 28 is 56 inches. That leaves me four extra inches on that eight foot length of film, like this one here, that I can do that strip on the top and afford to make a couple of mistakes and still have a little extra. So we're just gonna cut this down to 28 inches. That'll leave me that little extra. And then we're going to lay it out here. And then we're just gonna cut out the film that we know we're not gonna need. And then we'll start applying. Clean the surface very well. Make sure you get in all your edges, even in behind, 70% isopropyl alcohol, clean. Make sure you grab yourself some of these magnets for holding the vinyl, provided you have something steel that they can attach to. They won't work on my doors, but they will work on these support pillars here. So I can use that to hold my vinyl while I'm cutting out the pieces I know I don't need. Okay, I've got it all lined out. Now I'm just going to cut out the areas that I know I'm not going to need. I wanna get nice and close up to where this is sitting because I wanna have material with long enough length to cover these areas here. So I don't just wanna cut somewhere in the middle here, I'm gonna to wanna to cut probably an inch over from where I need to be. And then that way I just have a little bit of trimming to do after I've laid it all down. Before I peel the back end and get started, you might be asking yourself, why didn't I just lay it all over the doors while it's closed and then cut out what I needed? It's because I specifically want to wrap the vinyl around here and have that extra material. If I did it with the doors closed and I just cut a nice line in between, I'd have a tiny bit of material to wrap over the edge. But in my experience, especially here with our colder climates, that that little bit of material coming to the edge if it's getting hit by water and stuff all the time, it's more likely to lift. So I want that extra amount to be able to curl around. Okay, now we get to do some trimming because we have everything right to the edges. So we're just gonna leave maybe three eighths to half an inch all the way around. And then we can start on the doors.
Okay, we're coming along. I've got this piece done. I'm just about to start the doors, but first I want to put the valence back on. I just went ahead and I've silicone just a little bit where every opening is for the bolts to go through because I don't want any leaks. So we're just going to put this back and then we'll start the doors. This is just on there temporarily. I've still got to put all the bolts on. It's kind of funny how this worked out. The pattern actually lines up perfectly with this piece right here. Funny how that worked out. Probably not on the other side though. If you're curious how to take this valence off, I do have a video for that when I tinted the third brake light and I wrapped that piece. I'll leave the link for that right here and also in the video description. Anyway, let's continue to the doors. Okay, we got this roughly cut out, but first, let's set this aside. I'm just gonna put tape along this trim because when I need to get it up against this seal, I don't want the wrap to stick here. It makes it really tough to fold into there. So I'm gonna tape, blue tape just like this, all the way along here. Can't get more graceful than that. We are done. Let's uh, wipe it down, pull it outside and take a closer look. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. The sun's down a little bit low right now, so you can't necessarily see everything, but I think this line was the right choice, choosing to go with the back window. I think the line where it ends right here was the right choice as well. When the sun hits it, that's when the camo really pops, the tinted windows being rolled up, I think really finishes the look. I'd like to thank Vivid for sending this vinyl over, all eight feet of it, thanks for that. But if you liked today's video, hit that like button. Please consider subscribing, and we'll talk to you next time.